Hi guys and welcome to another Divi theme video. This is Jamie from System22 and WebDesignerTechTips.com. Well we're using the great Divi theme here today and we're going to create this email pop-up. It's got a little file upload button with it too. This is really easy to do. For the actual email form with the file upload we're using a free plugin called Contact Form 7. If you want to make it a pop-up like this we're actually using a premium plugin called Divi Supreme Modules. Really easy to do, so let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is enable the Visual Builder so we can build on the front end. Okay, first thing I'm going to do is get rid of our little pop-up that I created here. Just going to hit the trash can. Okay, let's go to the dashboard now. And like I said, the contact form I'm building with contact form 7. To get contact form 7, go to your plugins. As you can see, mine's already there. Hit add new if you don't have it. And in search plugins, just type contact form 7. And there it is. As you can see, it's perfectly free. They've got 5 million plus active installations. Mine's already active, but yours will say install now. Hit the install now and then activate the plugin. Once it's activated, you're going to have this little icon up here. So you need to create your first form. So I'm going to go up, I'm going to hit add new. It's going to bring us to this page here. Now it puts in a generic sort of form with a name, an email, a subject and a message and you can add things with these little buttons up here and it's using little short codes right here. So I'm going to leave that. I'm happy to have a little box for your name, email, subject and message. But I also want to add a file upload. DB has brilliant email modules but it doesn't give you the opportunity to add a file upload which is pretty essential sometimes. So put your cursor where you want your file upload button to appear and hit the file button. You can give it a name, you can give it a file size limit if you want. You can give uh, acceptable file types otherwise they can upload anything they want to. Or JPEG, ping or something like that. Whatever file types you want to accept with it. You can give it an ID, CSS ID or CSS class attribute if you want to, if you're going to use it for styling. But as I'm using Supreme Modules with this, it's got its own styling features for it. When you're happy, hit the insert tag. There's our form, we'll give it a name. Whatever you want to call yours, good idea to have it, something that makes sense to you. When you're happy, we'll save it. Okay. If you just want the file upload part of this today, just do this and style the form yourself. We've got a video on that down below, but we're gonna use Supreme Modules for this. Let's go back and to get the Supreme Modules plugin that's absolutely awesome, download it from my link below. Okay, what we need to do now is actually create a form and save it to our library. Before we can do that, we need to refresh this page since we've created the form since we last looked at this page. Okay, once refreshed, we can go down and create our form. And it doesn't matter where we put it because we're going to save it to our library and then delete it. So I'm going to hit a little circle here to add a new module. Divi comes as standard with all the light gray modules, plenty enough to build just about any site. When you add Divi Supreme, you get another 50 of these blue modules right here. And there's some fantastic additions. And here's one for Supreme Contact Form 7. That's what I'm going to use. And it's going to ask us to select the form that we've created. Pop up form, there it is. And as you can see, it's popped up here below. We've got name, email, subject, message. There's our little choose file button and our little button at the bottom there. I'm going to give it a bit of a background so it stands out when it pops out. So I'm going to go down a background here. And let's add a background color. I'm going to add black. I'm going to pull it up to a sort of light grayish color. Something like that. Everything's good. 
perfectly legible with that color that's fine looking at a little sort of squash there so let's give it a bit of spacing all around to do that let's go to our design we'll go down to spacing and I'm going to get 30 pixels all around just put in the number it'll put in the pics for you hit the chain it'll do the opposite side and we'll do the same for left and right there we go that's a bit more like it there's plenty of styling options for it up here I'm not going to spend too much time styling it because that's entirely up to you so if we go to the design you can style the labels these are your labels input text area and select that's right here placeholders we're not using placeholders at the moment placeholders are things that appear inside the little boxes here we don't have any radios or checkbox here's the file upload error messages validation errors validation successes you can style these and give them the colors that you want when they pop up which is fine you can custom style a button I'm going to leave mine just as it is at the moment now one thing I will show you let's just save this I didn't actually show you where to put your email and that's pretty important where you want this form sent if we go back to our form here in the next little drop down there you can put your email in the two here by default it's going to send it to the site admin email if you want to send it somewhere else simply put your email in there and hit the save button okay now we created this I want to save it to my library a little round button just to the left of the trash can there give it a name again you want to give it something that you're going to recognize and save it to the library now that we've saved it to the library we can go ahead and trash it and let's turn it into a pop-up now to make this show up as a pop-up today we're going to need to refresh this page again so let's save the changes and hit refresh now I'm going to go back to the dashboard once you've installed Divi Supreme it'll be down here if you click on it to use a pop-up we need to make sure that you've got this switch enabled enable Divi pop-up this one right here by default is disabled most of these are disabled by default so you can just use what you need to use so make sure it's switched on and save the changes if you forget to do this you won't be able to use it as a pop-up okay now our page is refreshed we can go back and create the pop-up and again we're going to use fixed positioning for this so it doesn't matter where we create this so I'm going to use exactly the same place I'm going to hit the little plus to add a new module again this time I'm going to use a regular Divi blurb module because it's got a nice icon don't want any text in there so I'm going to get rid of the title I'm going to get rid of the content I'm going to go down to image and icon I'm going to hit the use icon switch let's find an email type icon there's one obviously you can use what you want or upload an image if you prefer to do it that way if I move this across there's our little icon there and now I want to size this thing so I'm going to go to the design image and icon because it's the only thing we've got here I'm going to leave it on the color it is obviously choose the color that works for you I want to use icon font size I'm going to take it down a little bit in size so you do about 70 pixels and you can slide you can type in a value and you can fine-tune with the little arrows right there great well, I want to give it a bit of background color because at the moment it stands out fine but if, if it goes over a blue section you're going to lose it so I'll give it a bit of a background color so back to content down to background as it's on black I'm going to give it something that I can see and I'm then going to change the color okay there we go we can see that nicely so I'm going to go to design I'm going to give it a fixed width and a fixed height to do that I need to go down to sizing so I'm going to go down to width and give it a fixed width I'm going to try 100 and see how that works 
again just put in the number and it'll put in the picks for you I think that may be a little much let's let's do 90 yeah that's fine and again I'll give it a fixed height I know that's 70 we got 10 top and bottom so 90 should work for that maybe a little less so let's try 90 yeah too much even 70 well, I'm gonna increment up so it's got about the same top and bottom that's absolutely fine okay well I'm gonna change that background color now so I'm gonna go back to content I'm gonna make it black but I'm gonna take the opacity down a bit so there's the black color I'm gonna click on it and pull the opacity down a bit so it's still there but when you roll over things you'll still be able to see it okay now what I want to do is make this fix so it sticks to the side a bit, bit like our pop-up time thing over there so to do that I need to go over to advanced position and I'm gonna go down to fix and when I click on this it, it's gonna disappear hasn't actually disappeared it's actually up on the top left behind our menu here I want it right here so I'm gonna click that if you wanted it down the bottom click that one middle right side entirely up to you but in the middle is great for me and there's a little bit of horizontal offset if you want to pull it out from the side any see it's pulling it out to the right there a little bit and that's great now what do we want it to do when people click on it we want to use it as a pop-up so again it advanced I'm going to go to visibility use pop-up now if you didn't enable the switch in the last step that little switch won't be there so make sure you've done that so I'm going to click that to on what do we want to pop up? We want to pop up that layout, that form we say to our library. So let's select that. Now remember, we refreshed the page. Had we not refreshed the page, it wouldn't show up here. As you can see, I've got a lot in my library. There it is, email pop up. We want to trigger it on module click. So when they click on this module, it's going to pop up. Anywhere they click outside the pop up will close it. It's also got a switch. You can choose to just use the close button if you want to. Don't want to use auto close pop up. You can put a time in there if you want it to close after a certain amount of time. There's all kind of fade in and fade out animations to use. I'm going to leave mine just as there are, but there's plenty for you to play with. Pop up position center. Perfect. I want it to be in the center. I want it to be absolute so if they scroll up and down the site it's going to stay where it is I do not want it to be full width if we use full width it's going to cover the menu and the footer and take up the whole screen and that's a great feature but not for what we're using today you can set the width of it right here by default it's 680 which seems to work for me in most situations if you want to change it on mobile and tablet simply hover over the dark writing there hit the little mobile type icon and you can change it on tablet and phone if you want to I'm gonna leave mine on the 680 right there we want it to show an overlay that's like a light box effect that will focus on it and darken out the background and you can change the background color that darkens out there if you wish it's going to show a close button by default that's fine you can put it inside or outside you can choose the icon and the icon font size that it actually uses for that and by default it puts an X in there which is pretty standard for closing things you can change the close button background color here and icon color just down below there okay well I'm happy with that so if we've done everything correctly this should now work so I'm gonna hit the save I'm gonna save the page changes And I'm going to exit the Visual Builder. And here we are. Now when I click on that little envelope, there's a little form we created with the File Upload button. And they can submit it. Now this is fixed position, so if we scroll down the site, it'll stay exactly where it is. There we go. 
So there you go guys, there's how to create a fixed position, pop up, email form with a file upload button using contact form 7 and Divi Supreme modules. I hope you've enjoyed this today and found it useful. If you have, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell, comment, share and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Once again, this has been Jamie from System22 and webdesignandtechtips.com. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.